Hi friends, I'm Jelena and I'm going to be showing you some ideas and some tips on how to use your veil. One of my teachers described it in a great way, Farida Fahmi um, from the Reda Troupe, a folkloric style dancer and from Egypt, of course. And the way she described it is if you walked into a party and you had a beautiful coat on, you wouldn't just like kind of take it and throw it around. So. Um, the way she described it just gave me that visual that it's something elegant and valuable and you want to you want to show it off and you want to use it to frame yourself now when we do it in a little bit of the american style of belly dance we use it a little bit more as a prop i think we use it a lot more we've come up with all kinds of cool and interesting ideas how to use it i personally prefer silk i love like the china silk i love the way it flows and catches the air you can use chiffon they come in a rectangle, usually about three yards of fabric. So about 45 inches. I think this one might be a little bit wider. So you can choose what feels good for you. I love to use them, in, especially in the theater because it creates a lot of space. That's how I like to use it. Definitely as an entrance or you can have an, an entire choreography with just the veil. There are a thousand and one things you can do with the veil, but I'm just gonna show you a few ideas. First of all, you wanna hold it at, at the seams here at the end. So I like to stretch it and then have just a little bit of swag. So my arms are completely straight. That way I can move it and I've got it even on both sides. So you don't wanna be holding it at one end and have it heavy on one side, unless that's intentional. The first thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna hold it the long way. So I'm gonna take the short end. It'd be a fun way to enter the stage or start on stage. So I take it, hopefully the fabric agrees with you. Um, and I lift my arms straight up I take a little bit of gap in it and then I just take it over my face here. So I'm going to lift up and stretch and then I'm going to walk. And that's one of the reasons why I like to use silk is because it really catches the air behind me. So I want to keep my arms up pretty tall because it's quite long in this position. I'm going to walk up on my toes and I'm just going to walk. You see how it lifts, it's not dragging on the floor. So think about catching the air. The other thing is you have to have a little bit tight here. If it's a little bit saggy, it's not gonna catch the air the way you want it to. So lift and stretch and find that space. Plus it makes a beautiful line. It's gonna make a beautiful uh, photograph when you see that. So you're gonna lift and we're gonna take it. The music we're using is a six. So I'm gonna be focusing a little bit more on the, on the veil tricks and tips and not so much on the counts of the choreography. So you guys can figure out, but it is a six we're gonna do. Two sixes coming in. Now I'm gonna drop my right arm. Look, I still keep that stretch in my arms and I'm gonna keep that left arm nice and tall and lifted and I'm gonna spin to the left here. And you gotta go fast enough to get the fabric off the floor. If you don't go fast enough, it's gonna drag. So you gotta go fast enough here and then I'm gonna switch. I'm gonna drop my left arm down, right arm is up and I'm gonna spin to the right. Now. Let me just give you a tip there. When I'm spinning to the right and my left arm is down, I'm catching the air behind it. So with the veil behind me, it's gonna pick up the air. That's just an important rule in general, okay? So we're gonna lift here, we're gonna drop the right arm, we're gonna spin for two six counts, and then I'm gonna switch, and I just kind of dive under. So as I lift the right arm, my head comes through. Okay, left arm is extended, right arm is up, and you're gonna spin to the right, two counts of six. With my right hand, I hold the veil. With my left hand, I'm gonna take the seam and slide down. So that way, I'm sure that I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna catch it in the middle. I just take my hand and pull and stretch, okay? Now, the little trick is you're gonna drop the right hand, you're gonna come to the left hand together, and you're gonna do that same slide and out, but you're gonna slide both hands. And you gotta practice that so you end up perfectly even. Because you started here. So when I grabbed it, I was here. Then when I did the switch, I grab it together, my hands are together, and then I pull apart a little on the left, a lot on the right. Does that make sense? So now when I'm done, I'm nice and even, my veil is even, and I've got that basic position. So we do spin, two sixes one way, two sixes the other way. When we're done, 
We're gonna come together, plie, and you can go as high and low as you want. Plie, I lift up and I open. And you can do a nice lunge here, you can go bigger. We do the six count. Then I'm gonna lift the right arm, I'm gonna do a barrel turn, and then I'm gonna spin to the left, two turns. Sometimes I do three, so it depends on how fast you want to go. It again, it's a six count. So let's do that trick again. Our veil is here. We bring it together, bring the hands together, lift up and open and take it behind you. And I step underneath it. So up and under, here. I lift the right arm, the left arm is down. I do a better turn. I lift both arms straight up, high V. High V here, lots of energy in the arms. So when you turn, the veil is gonna be flying. I'm gonna flick the veil in front of me. I'm gonna scoop under and step with the left. I'm gonna show you from here. I flick it forward and then I use the momentum of the air and I step down and up, step down and up. And that's a position here. Right on shoulder. Sometimes on your face. So it will happen. Get used to it, find a solution. So the more you practice with it, the better it's gonna be. Because sometimes, it comes right over the face. Veil is a prop, not as a weapon. <laughs> we did the turns to the left. I flick it, I scoop it, I get my face out of the way, and then I'm gonna do a barrel turn this way. I bring my right arm down, my left arm up, and then I do the two spins to the right. Again, with that high V. So those are just some fun ideas to use. So we're gonna do the same thing. Down, passe, lunge. Barrel turn. Shinae two times to the left. Arms are high V. Forward. And scoop. Scoop it up here. And then high turn here. And you'll practice with it. And by the way, each veil is a little bit different. If you get that really light China silk, it's gonna take less momentum. This one is a little bit heavier, so I need to get a little bit momentum. It just means a matter of practicing with each and every pop every single time. That's pretty much the combos that we're gonna do, some ideas, how to use it. The last thing I just wanna show you is, we did these turns, we did the scoop, we did the turn, we did the two spins here. I'm gonna drop the veil in front of me. Now, if you can see me in the mirror, I like to frame my body. So, that way I can do my hip work, I do some shimmies. I'm just doing a little improvisation there. So let me show you what that looks like from the front perspective. So I flick it forward and I keep my arms a little bit out. So that way I have this frame of this beautiful color framing me. So if my arms are down, I lose the frame. When I lift it up, if I lift it too high, I'm gonna cover the hips. You want it close to the knees, it gets a beautiful frame. This looks great with groups as well. So let's go ahead and put this all together with music. Remember, it's a six count, so count in a six. All right, let's do this.